Hello guys, this is Webscaped and today we're going to be taking a look at how to customise your Nexus 7. We're going to be looking at three different things. Number one, wallpaper. Number two, icons. And number three, keyboard. This is going to be a basic tutorial in all three things and if you have any questions or requests, please do let me know down in the comment section below and I will do it. I hope you find this video handy and hopefully very basic. Step number one, changing the wallpaper. You can do this in two different ways. You can hold one finger down on anywhere on the home screen for a long time, about two seconds, and it will bring up your selection. You're going to select wallpapers if you want the ones Google have provided, or you're going to simply select gallery. This will give you an option of your actual, of your um, custom photos. I'm going to select one that I downloaded from the internet earlier, which is a picture of a strawberry. As soon as you select it on the wallpaper, it will let you ch change it to the wallpaper, so it needs to know the size. Sorry about that. How to change the size is you're given with a square. You can move this around any direction, and this will basically show you in in the square is what you're going to see on your wallpaper. So how to make it bigger is by simply pulling these little blue dots up and down and once you do this you are now given a bigger image. Unfortunately it will never go all the way over without an assisted app so that is all you can do. Depending on the HD quality of your picture the quality will improve on your wallpaper. Once you've selected that, you can click OK or Cancel in the top right hand corner. It will now take a brief moment to set the wallpaper and it will, do, it will let you know. Now it's changed the wallpaper, you can see that it really has changed it and you can see if you like it or not. I hope this first tutorial helps and now let's take a look at how to change icons. Welcome back. Now we're going to be taking a look at how to change your icons. You can see here that the icons are different from your normal ones. Usually you'd be used to seeing this camera instead of this camera. So how do I do it? This is how I do it. First of all, when you hold down an icon on your screen, it doesn't give you any options. It just allows you to freely move it on your screen. So how on earth do you do it? You're going to need two apps. Number one, Desktop Visualizer, and number two, Metro Station. These both can be found on Google Play Store, and they're both entirely free. So, first of all, you're going to want to visit Desktop Visualizer. It should be in your menu once you've installed it, as you probably know. This is the icon up here, and boom. Once you select it, it will give you the option that says select icon and select action. First of all, select action. This will give you the choice of launch application, clipboard, clipboard or other. We want to click launch action. Once you've selected this, it will give you a menu of all the apps that you have installed on your device. You scroll to one until you want that one to be selected. So in my case, I am going to go for a simple one of BBC iPlayer. Once you've selected that, you now need to go to select icon. But be warned. First of all, image file, application icon, icon pack and add-ons. Metro Station is an icon pack, so normally you would go on that. Unfortunately, for some reason, the Nexus 7 does not recognise it and says no icon pack installed. So in case of this, you need to go click Others, it will then come up with Metro Station, and you can go ahead and use it. Other than that, you're really on your way. Now you can choose over 100 different icons selected and available to use. Scrolling can also be in order, and you can see all the different ones. I'm going to go for a dog just for an example. Once you've selected this, you can simply press the back key to get rid of the keyboard, and you now have lots of different colours at the side. You can scroll up and down to change the colour and then you can select with your finger how bright or how dark you want it. I'm going to have teal and as you can see I can 
select it so it's brighter than the old one. This is the previous used icon colour I used. In your case, if it's your first use, it will just completely be blank. Once you've selected the colour, you can select OK, and now, if you have two different launchers installed, it will give you the option which one you want to do. The default one is launcher, so I'm going to select that one. It will take you back to your menu, and once you click home, it will now be there. You can see that it's hardly visible in here, so I'm really quickly going to change the wallpaper. Okay, now I've changed the wallpaper, you can see it a bit better. Let's get rid of the all these icons. Okay, you can now see that the new icon has appeared at your top left hand corner. This is the default on where it appears. Zooming in, you can see that it simply says BBC iPlayer with a picture of a dog in a blue teal ring. You can see down below how I have them here, so it's as simple as moving a real icon. You can move it again anywhere on your screen, or you can even put it in your little bar at the bottom. It's as simple as that, and it really does make an effect. If you don't want it there, you can always have one up here, and you can have a default one down here. It's as simple as that, and I hope you found it easy. Now let's take a look at keyboards. Providing you have a keyboard app um, installed, you can simply go to settings from the scroll bar, so settings, and scroll down to language and input. Once you've selected language and input, it will ch show you all the different choices of your um, keyboards. As you can see, I have Android Keyboard and Go Keyboard installed, so I can simply change from one to the other. Now how we do this is simply uncheck one and check the other. Once it's checked, you can see here that it will show it's checked. Unchecking that as well. Also, you can check all the little settings as well. For instance, you can check your capitalization, floating, and gestures. Now, when you go to something like Google, so let's go and pop ourselves to Google, like so, you can see here that once we are put on here, straight away we are back to our Android keyboard. However, Sometimes when you do put yourself back onto a different keyboard, for instance, I'm going to go for a Go keyboard. It doesn't do it. I'm going to show you how to access it. First of all, on any type of search bar, so either on the one at the top here or in the one here, you're going to hold it down. Now you can see here that that won't do anything and neither will it at the top. So, it's not how you would usually do it on an Android device. What you're going to need to do is go to your settings, your language and input, and simply go to your Go keyboard and put, when it comes up, uncheck Google. So that is how you change the keyboard it won't do it for me because my Nexus 7 is faffing up, but you can see that it's very easy. But like I said, it doesn't do it if you hold it down. So thanks guys for watching. Please rate, comment and subscribe. I hope you found this tutorial a bit fun and easy. And if you have any comments, suggestions or questions, do let me know in the comment section down below. Like always, I will reply and I hope you enjoyed this video. Until then, thank you for watching and stay tuned for more. Until then, this is Webscapes.